When it comes to playing basketball on the offensive end, it's easy to guard someone who always moves with one speed. This is for anyone who is dribbling the ball or is in motion without the ball. As for dribbling, when you think of the best ball handlers, you think probably Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Kemba Walker, and many more. Many players are in awe because of their fancy dribbling and combos, but what most players don't see is the change of speed that player is doing. Being able to change speeds keeps the defense guessing and on their heels. Because imagine guarding a player who goes from 50 miles per hour to 100 miles per hour, then down to 20 miles per hour. As a defender, you're like, man, this dude has me stopping and going and stopping. Even the best defenders get caught up and slip up because of the ball handler's change of speed. Changing speeds as the ball handler is a major key to getting your defender off balance. So here's a simple drill that you can do to work on not only your change of speed, but also work on your conditioning. I call this drill the stop and go. What you're going to be doing is starting on one side of the court and you'll work your way to either the half court mark, or if you want to challenge yourself, you can make the other baseline the end mark. For this drill, you can have the freedom to do any dribble move that comes to mind. So in other words, a freestyle. But after a few dribbles, you'll come to a stop and relax for a split second. Once that split second comes to an end, you'll go back to doing any combo moves or dribbles. dribbling move that you like and repeat the process until you get to the half court mark or full court mark. For this drill you can kill three birds with one stone, work on your stamina, your dribbling and also your change of speed. Remember the hardest player to guard is never the player who moves at one speed, it's the player who can have the ability to shift gears at any moment. 